morning everyone welcome to bytecode technical solutions so this is the special video that is only made for push operation in the stack in this video we are going to learn about only push operation the content of the video will be we are going to study about the push operation of the stack as accordingly in the previous video we have introduced to the stack data structure so let us recapitulate the stack data structure can be imagined with any of the examples what is that you can observe on the screen the stack of coins placed one above the other the stack of plates placed one above the other or the stack of books what you can place one above the other if at all i want to remove a plate from the stack of plates i will pick the plate from the above and keep it back or insert back at the same position from the above similarly if i need a book from the stack of the book i will take it from the top of the book stack and if at all i want to add a new book element in the stack of book then i will insert it at the top position only due to this property of the stack behavior we it we say it as a last in first out property the last element inserted in the stack is the first that is being removed out of the stack hence stack data, stack data structure is called as lifo data structure last in first out data structure okay so based on this knowledge we can define the stack as it is a special type of data structure it is a linear data structure we can say where elements are inserted from one end and the elements are deleted from the same end as you can see in the example we are going to insert the element in the stack at the top of the stack and we are going to delete the element the topmost element from the stack okay right so the various operations of the stack are push pop and display push means what inserting an element into the top of the stack is called as push or else adding an element on the top of the stack is called as push operation pop operation means removing an element from the top of the stack or deleting an element from the top of the stack is called as pop operation display means displaying the contents of the stack what are the elements present in the stack body so that is what we are going to use the display operation okay so in this video we are going to learn about the push operation for understanding more in detail about the push operation we are going to take the stack of the size 4 and we are going to insert the elements 30 20 25 and 10 in the stack body okay so at the first time at the initial time the top of the stack will be pointing at the bottom of the stack it means at the earlier position there will be no elements available in the stack body you can see the first uh, diagram in the screen the top will be marking at the bottom of the stack here we are going to represent the bottom of the stack as minus 1 so whenever we say the top is marking at minus 1 so no elements are available in the stack and the stack is empty next we are going to insert the first element in the stack body so top is the pointer that points to the topmost element in the stack body so in the first diagram there are no elements available hence the top is marking at minus 1 so once i start inserting the elements whatever the elements will be inserted one by one in the stack body so accordingly the top will be also being marking the topmost element in the stack now 30 is inserted in the second diagram so when 30 is inserted earlier the stack was at minus 1 now it is uh, now earlier the top was at minus 1 now it is marking at the zeroth location so once the top is marking at zeroth location 
we will get an empty space and then we can insert an item. Now, 30 is the only element available in the stack body, hence that is the topmost element in the stack body. Next, next we are going to insert a 20. So, after inserting 20, since we know that the elements are inserted at the top, okay. 30 was the first element. So, on the top of 30, we are going to insert the 20. So, once we insert a 20, the top pointer will be marking to the topmost element. Now, the topmost element is 20. Hence, the top is marking at the location 1, wherein 20 is installed. Next, 25 is inserted. Once 25 is inserted, it is inserted above 20. So, it is at the position 2. Since 25 is the topmost element, hence top is been marking at that position 2. Next, lastly we will insert 10. Once we will insert 10, the top will be pointing towards the location 3, what is the stack size minus 1, which is the stack size minus 1. Stack size is 4, we have elements to be inserted 4. Okay? So, it starts from 0. Hence, the topmost element position will be 3, it is stack size minus 1. So, once after inserting 10, it will be the situation where we cannot insert any more elements in the stack body as because the stack is full. This condition where we try to insert the element even though the stack is full, this condition is called as overflow of the stack. This condition is called as overflow of the stack. Okay? Whenever the elements are being inserted, there is possibility of stack being full. That is one after the other once we insert the elements, the stack will become full. Once the stack is full, it is not possible to insert any more elements. Okay? Trying to insert more number of elements even when the stack is full, this results into the overflow of the stack. So, as accordingly we have taken the same diagram. Okay. As previously we have studied, we have inserted 30, 20, 25, 10 accordingly one after the other. So, the topmost element 10 is at the position 3 which is a stack size minus 1. It represents what? Now, the top is marking at stack size minus 1. It represents what? Stack is full. At this case, if we try to insert more elements in the stack, there is no space available we cannot insert any more elements into the stack. Hence, we say it as overflow of stack. Now, we understood that how the elements will be inserted. We know that physically by seeing the diagram, we can understand, we can say as because human beings are intelligent. Okay? They are having reasoning power, they are having understanding power. But how the computer actually will come to know? So, how and where the item can be inserted? This is the next question what we can put forward. Okay? It means how the push operation can be designed or how we can write a function for the push operation. So, let us consider for this a situation wherein already in the stack body we have 30 and 20 element inserted. Since the 20 is the topmost element in the stack body, Hence, the top is marked at that position. Now, I want to insert more number of elements. Let us consider the element to be inserted is 25. So, now you can observe here, already the top is marking at minus 1. If, we, if I try to input the element 25, since top is the one which is marking the topmost value in the stack. Okay, the topmost value in the stack, if I try to insert a 25, I will be even though having the empty spaces available, but the top should be marking at that position. Why? Because if at all I want to insert, there should be a free space. Now, since top is marking at 1, the location here is available wherein 20 is inserted. Since 20 is inserted, it is occupied. I cannot insert 25 above that. So, before to insert 25, I should see that top should be marking at some empty location. To do this, to do this, we have to apply some incrementation operation that is I need to increment the top by 1 unit. So, I can apply 
the evaluation process as top is equal to top plus 1. So, here the top value was 1. So, 1 plus 1 will result into 2. So, top is marking at 2. So, once the top is marking at 2 which is an empty location here in the stack body. Now, I can copy the item and place it at the position where top is pointing in the stack body. Okay. So, item is been copied at the position where top is marking at stop is marking at 2. So, 25 can be inserted at the position 2. Now, after inserting one after the other, we can see that all the elements are inserted. So, when we can say we cannot insert the item into the stack further. Okay. So, we cannot insert any item into the stack when top is already reached the stack size minus 1 as you can see observe in the figure. Okay. Stack size is 4 and top has been marking at the stack size minus 1 position it means the stack is full. In such situation we need to display the error message. So, error message can be displayed by using the following code below. Here if top is equal to equal to stack size minus 1 then stack is full hence it will go inside the if body and print stack overflow okay. and then in the next line it will return back to the function from where it is been called. Okay. Right. So, the complete C function by combining all those lines of code we can write it in this form. Okay. Here the parameters what we are taking is item the top and the array that depicts as a stack. <coughs> so, before inserting any element into the stack I should check whether stack is empty or not. So, for that I need to check whether stack is full or not. If stack is full I cannot insert, if stack is not full then I can insert. So, check the condition if top is equal to stack size minus 1. If the condition fails then it will not go inside the if body then it will execute the next line of code that is top is equal to top plus 1. So, once the top is marking at some empty location then I can insert the item at the position where top is marking at. So, let us analyze this push function what we have understood in the previous slide. So, first we will consider some set of items. So, 30, 20, 25 and 10. I have taken a stack of size 4 means we have 4 empty locations wherein I can input the elements all those 4 elements. Okay. As we know the earlier condition top will be marking at the bottom of the stack that is marking at the minus 1. So, first check the condition. Now, what is the value of top? Top is 1. Is 1 equal to stack size minus 1? What is stack size minus 1? It is 3. Okay. Stack size is 4. So, 3 minus 4 minus 1 is 3. So, is minus 1 equal to 3? No, the condition fails. So, it will not enter the if body. Further, it will go to execute the next line of code in the function that is top is equal to top plus 1. Here top value is minus 1. So, minus 1 plus 1 will result into 2. It means my top will point next to the next location that is 0th location that is 0th location. My top pointer will move from minus 1 to 0. So, once it moves to uh, 0th location, we will get an empty space available. Then next instruction will be executed. What is that? The element from the item set, the first element from the item set will be copied at the position where stack will be pointing at in the array yes, in the array yes. Okay. So, 30 is the first element or the first item available that 30 will be copied at the position 0 where top is marking at. Okay. So, in the next iteration again let us check whether top is equal to stack size minus 1. Now, to top value is 0, stack size minus 1 is 3. Is 0 equal to 3? No, the condition fails. So, it will never enter the if body. Next, it will execute the next line of the code that is top is equal to top plus 1. 
top value at the current position is 0. So, 0 plus 1 results into 1. It means my top pointer will move from 0 to 1. So, once it points to the 1, we have an empty location available here. So, where I can insert a next item in the item set. So, the next item in the item set is 20. So, that item will be copied in the position where top is pointing at in the array S yes, in the array S. Yes. So, 20 will be pointing or 20 will be stored here in the position in the array S yes, in the position where top is pointing at. Next, once again now check the condition top is 1, is 1 equal to 3? No. So, condition fails, hence it will not enter the if body it will go to the next line of execution that is top is equal to top plus 1. Now, the top value is 1 at this position. So, 1 plus 1 will result into 2. Hence, my top will move from 1 to 2. After the top pointer is moved to the second location, I will get an empty space here. So, in the next line, I am going to copy the next item in the item list into the place where top is marking at in the array S. Yes. So, 25 is the next element. So, that 25 will be copied in the array S yes at the point where top is marking at. Okay. Next, in the next iteration, now check condition top value is 2. Is it equal to 3? No. So, it will not enter the if body. It will execute the next line of code that is top is equal to top plus 1. Now, currently the top value is 2. So, 2 plus 1 will be what? 3. So, top will move from 2 to 3. So, once the top will move from 2 to 3, we will get an empty space available. Hence, we can execute the next line of code wherein the item, the next item in the item set will be inserted at the position where top is marking at in the array S. Yes. So, the next item is 10. So, 10 is being placed at the position 3, where the top is marking at in the array S. Yes. Now, next again we check in the next iteration, again we check the condition. Now, top value is 3. Is 3 equal to 3? Yes, condition satisfies, condition satisfies. It means the top is being marking at the topmost position in the stack body. So, if it is the case, the condition satisfies and it enters the if body. In the if body, it will print the message stack overflow. It means we cannot insert more elements into the stack body. After that, it will execute the next instruction in the if body that is return. This return statement will take us back to the main function call from where the function push was called into. So, for the upcoming videos, please subscribe okay, and please like and subscribe. So, in the next video, we are going to discuss about the pop operation. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye.